Hey guys, so welcome back to part three of my declutter, my makeup sort of series or whatever you want to call it. So today I'm going to be going through like my eyeliners and mascaras and maybe eyebrows. I'll just see how far I get along with the video. But I'm just going to start with eyeliners because that's what's closest to me. So I'm not really a big wearer of eyeliner at all. However, the last couple of days I have been putting it on and really enjoying it. But it's the particular type of eyeliner that I've been using that I think is what's making it easy for me. Um, my New Year's resolution um, in terms of like makeup New Year's resolution and stuff is to wear eyeliner as often as possible so like I'm gonna start with every day because then it gets me into the routine of wearing it however there are some products that I cannot get along with so they're gonna go pl plus they're probably way too old so this is why I need to do this declutter so I've got this Maybelline New, Law uh, bleh, New York um, matte ink um, no master ink and it's like a matte so it dries down really matte I think you're only supposed to have this open for six months anyway. I've had it for longer than that and I bought it secondhand off Vicky. So that needs to go. Um, this is like a felt tip eyeliner, not by any particular brand. I think I had this last year. Um, I actually do get along with these, but I've had it for over a year. So it needs to go. Uh, same with this. It's another felt tip liner from Primark. I really do actually quite like this. These are quite hard. They're harder than the ones that I've been getting along with recently, but I would repurchase this, but only when I need it, and that's been open for over a year, so it needs to go. Um, this benefits their real push-up liner. Um, if I struggle with the felt tips, I'm never going to be able to do it with this. I haven't even bothered to try, and I've had it for a while now and then I bought it second hand but I know it hasn't been opened at all but that can just go in the bin also. Um, this waterproof Max Factor eyeliner is also another, it's a dippy in one. Um, it's been open for eight months now. I used it once. I know I'm not going to use it again so unfortunately that has to go. Um, this Kiko Precision Eyeliner, it's another dip in one. I can't really get along with these. I make mistakes with them too much, so that can go. Um, what else? I've only just bought this a few weeks ago. It's the Collection Glam Crystals in the shade Spandex. I really like glitter liners. They're more forgiving if you make mistakes. Um, and I'm gonna be keeping this one. Um, the Sephora. Uh, crayon basically an eye crayon um, it's a bit hard it's purple but you can't really tell that it's purple it's very short anyway so that can go um, this Maybelline gel liner it's the one where you dip the brush into it I couldn't really get along with this either it's not my jam so that can go in the bin I've got two black pencil eyeliners I don't really need to this is like an organic one that I got in some sort of I can't even remember what the box is called, but um, that one can go, but this black eyeliner can stay because there's nothing wrong with keeping it. So it's just a little bit softer. It goes on a lot easier, um, but it's the L'Oreal Col. I mean, it's been sharpened down so much that I can't really tell what it is. So I'm gonna be keeping that. Uh, this Stila eyeliner is another glitter eyeliner and it's purple and it's absolutely stunning. It's really, really, really nice. It's really easy to apply, but you can only keep it open for nine months and I've had it for um, April, so eight months and I know that I got it second hand. Um, so unfortunately that's gonna have to go, that's brutal. But there's an, a brown eyeliner, it's really soft, it's more like of a bronzy, don't need it. Um, this Nick Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, I suppose I was gonna use this for white eyeliner, it's a bit creamy maybe for that. Um, I am going to keep this. I don't think I've had it for nine months. I can't remember. But I'm going to keep it. I need to try and use it a little bit more. And um, this Cynthia Rowley. Um, it's silver eyeliner. It says it can be for 24 months, which is awesome. Um... It's beautiful, it's really, really creamy. 
and that's the type of eyeliner that I'm loving at the moment because it's so simple to apply. And then as are these two um, number seven eyeliners, they both have like a smudger on the end of them. Um, this one I got from Kerry literally a few weeks ago for Christmas. Um, and I've already had this one for a while and it's because I've had this that I've thought, and I put it on my eyes, I'm like, yes. I can wear eyeliner, this is awesome. This goes on really, really easily and even I can do it and I am crap, 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 crap at eyeliner. So I've got that one and I've got this sort of like gray sort of blue one as well. So that's those two there. These can stay because they're super easy, super creamy, really easy to apply. So I'm gonna be keeping those. So that's everything from my eyeliner section. So I am getting rid of 11 products. I think that's really, really good. And only keeping six products. So I think those six products is all that I need in terms of eyeliner, unless I'm gonna buy like a different colored glitter liner or something like that, but I don't need to. So I've got this sort of product that I've got on my eye already. So brilliant. So moving swiftly on to mascaras, I suppose this one's a bit of a cheat one anyway, because it's the last day of the month. It's the 31st of December and I switch my mascara out every month. So this would naturally be going into the bin anyway. So that one can go, I'm wearing it for the last time today. I've also got this number seven extreme length waterproof mascara. I haven't used it yet. So I'm gonna keep that one because I haven't opened it. Um, I have got this Max Factor False Lash Effect waterproof mascara that's a good eight months old now i've only used it maybe twice so that can go because i don't need it i've got two glitter um what are they called mascaras that you're supposed to put over the top of your normal mascara they don't really work well at all and they're a year old so they can go um i got this Roller Lash from Benefit for Christmas. It's one of the mini ones because obviously I swap out my mascara every month. Um, I haven't opened it, so that can stay. And I also got this So Susan Feather Lash Mascara from Kerry for Christmas. Um, I haven't opened that, it's still sealed in its packaging. So that can stay also. So moving swiftly on to eyebrows now. Um, there's quite a few things in here. So let's start with eyebrow pencils. Um, this Essence one I've had for ages. It's really hard and it's not the kind of color that I use anymore. So I can get rid of that. This Avon one, it's a glimmer stick brow definer. I never really did get around to using it. Um, let's have a look at the color. It says it, I can have it open for 20 more months. Um, yeah, it's, it's for blondes and I tend to go a bit darker with my brows these days. So I'm going to get rid of that one. Let's be brutal. This one, stunning packaging. Um, I had this in a swap on here on YouTube. Um, the pencil, however, is shocking. Awful. It, you literally, I had to scratch my hand to put it on. So there's no way you're going to get any colour onto your eye from this, which is a shame because I like the concept of it with a little brush spoolie on the end. It's got to go because I'm never going to use it. So eyebrow mascara, this Maybelline Brow Drama in dark blonde. It's actually just a brown, basically. It's been open for more than the six months that it says it should be. So that needs to go. Um, this Benefit Browsings. I had this second hand and goodness know how long it had been open then. That really, really needs to go. That's probably well grim by now. Um, these HD Brows. Um... That can stay actually, I use that shade in particular. So that can stay, that's quite handy. It's 24 months anyway, and I'm sure it's not that old. Um, this one I absolutely adore, I've been using it nonstop now for months and months. There's the High Impact Brows, and I've just been using that shade there. You can see there's quite a dent in it compared to the other ones. So I'll be keeping that one. And then I've got the NYX Tame and Frame um, in the shade Blonde when I used to have lighter brows. Um, I really enjoyed using this. I think it was great, but you can only keep it for six months and it's all kind of like dried out a little bit now. So that can go. And then I've got this Bobbi Brown, what do they call this? Longwear Brow Gel in Saddle. 
it doesn't specify how long you can keep this open for. So I only bought this in July, so I'm inclined to keep it. I have used a fair amount of it, I would say, and it comes with a little mirror, which is really cute. So I'm gonna be keeping that also. So that's it with regards to eyeliner, mascara and eyebrow products. So I think I've managed to get rid of quite a lot of products. So I've managed to get rid of 20 products from my collection. I think that is really, really good. Okay, one of them granted I was going to throw away anyway, so 19, but that's still really, really good. I'm quite impressed with myself, to be perfectly honest, and I think that that's not bad going. So if you like this video, please give it a massive thumbs up and click subscribe to my channel to see more of my declutter videos coming up soon. Bye!